So with 2020 being pretty much over and as we dive into a worse year, because let's face it, just because it's called 2021 doesn't automatically mean it's going to get better. And this was just the demo. I thought instead of examining the year, because we all know how that was, we'd instead examine ourselves and do a fun little experiment with you guys. We're going to prove that our style does indeed reflect our personality and learn much more about ourselves that we probably didn't know and find more of what defines our style by just using one item of clothing. That's it. We're gonna use a bit of the Socratic method and then end with a little Aristotelian by finding out the telos, or telos, however it's called in English, or the final cause. We're gonna find out the final cause. But trust me, it's not as complicated as it sounds. By going Socratic, we're basically asking why and why we like this item of clothing. And we're gonna keep asking why. And we're not gonna stop once we find the reason. We're gonna actually go even deeper and find out why we feel the way we do. Now, for example, I'm gonna use this pair of brown pants that I really, really like. My brown pattern pants. I like them. What do you like about them? Oh, oh I like the brown and blue. It harmonizes nicely. I like the texture. I like the 70s and vintage vibes it gives. I like the fit. I like the pattern. I like that it's Italian too. Hmm. Why do you like the texture? It's kind of nice rough texture. It gives a character that's mostly seen, you know, up close. Nothing too crazy. Why is that appealing to you? I think because it appeals to my nature of things needing character and detail down to their very basic core elements, you know, texture and rich colors, things like that. Why do you like the 70s and vintage vibes? Because I like the 70s. 70s was crazy and fun, but vintage, it's more timeless. I like the past. Why do you like the past? I'm fascinated by times before me. So I'm a history buff and the farther back you go, the more it's exciting. And also, the past is more in line with my morals and beliefs the farther back you go to a certain point. And I also like things out of their normal structure growing palms and tropicals in this cold climate and vintage clothing or architecture in a modern world. That's what I like about it. Why do you like the fit? I like high rise and slim tailored looks. Why do you like high rise and slim tailored looks? Well, you know, they complement my body shape the most and you know, I just like the look. It's neither too vintage or too modern. Why don't you want to look too old-fashioned or too modern? I don't know. Maybe it's because I just like the way that fit looks. Maybe it's because I know that even though I identify a lot with the past, I'm still in the present. I'm not totally removed from it. And I like some things that are modern. Maybe it's just not wanting to stick out too much, you know. A silhouette can change a lot. Maybe. It could be any one of those things. I don't know. We'll see. Why do you like the pattern? It's classic, which I like, yet bold. Why do you like bold? Because sometimes I like extremes. And sometimes I like attention. Sometimes I need attention. I think that's uh, for another day. <clears throat> Good job. So from just one pair of pants, we have discovered a lot about who I am as a person. It's pretty trippy. I need things to have character and beauty down to their most basic form, right? So on a macro scale, once I see all the interest in that, I usually zoom in and I wanna see more interesting detail. And then once I'm done with that, zoom in more and then see more detail, I need that. So lots of textures and richer colors. So when I go investing in pieces, I should look out for those. 
I'm very in tune and relate a lot more with the past, especially in terms of morals and beliefs and tradition. And this mainly comes down to because of my worldview of a belief in God via Eastern Orthodoxy. But at the same time, I do like modern. I'm not too extreme, right? And you know, I like the memes and I love film, obviously, and technology, certain technologies and other aspects of modern life. So I'm not just totally stuck in the past, right? I am still living in the modern world. I understand that and I have adapted to that, but I'm mainly influenced, you could say, by the past. So my clothing should reflect that. A kind of a more traditional vibe with a modern touch and I think it's working so far if you can tell I like things orderly and in their place probably why I like a lot of Japanese culture but I also like things out of their place but I prefer this to be the exception and not the rule and only with things that are morally good or neutral so that means that I'm not a rebel for rebellion's sake, right? And this means though that I can occasionally go bold or, you know, once I know a rule, break it. But I probably, knowing myself now, shouldn't do that too often because if I buy, let's say, too many bold things, right, that are very out there and odd, then I won't end up wearing them all the time and it will be a big waste of money, time, and resources. I do like things on occasion though to be extreme and sometimes I do like the attention. If I'm being com completely 100% honest, but if you know me, I don't like that much attention or when I'm out and dressing nice, right? Because let's face it, if you dress up in a suit or you're even dressed nice or decent, you're gonna get attention. That's just how the way the world is right now. So it really depends though what kind of suit and the details on the suit that tell you how much attention you're gonna get. And since I don't want, I wanna minimize that as much as possible most of the time, that means I should look for suits that are probably unstructured in the shoulders. That's what I like the most, and that's the reason, most likely, it's because they look less suit-like, less formal, they're more everyday, right? And I also love earth tones, and this makes sense because they have character, but they're not bold, crazy colors or patterns. It's a plain color, but it's not boring or dull, let's say, like navy or gray, it's more earthy and natural and pre-industrial you should say which goes with my personality again so now not only do i know what kind of suits i should look for but also what kind of colors fit my personality and my style so just take one item of clothing that you really really like maybe your favorite and if you use the socratic method on it then not only will you find out why you like it but you'll find out a lot of the characteristics about your personality and this makes it great because then when finding your personal style you narrow it down to those aspects of your personality just make sure that those are aspects that you want to accentuate and expand on because Remember, once you start dressing this way, once you're metaphorically robed in those attributes, then you, you're more aware of them and they become more accentuated, those attributes, right? Because you're wearing them, you're professing them. So just make sure it's something that you actually want to express. So try this out yourself, guys. Write it down and then in the comment section down below, let me know what you found out about your personality that you didn't know and your personal style. And if you guys need help, I'm here to help you. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all next year. I got some great videos headed your way. So until then, adio. All right, finally.